Hello there, Matlits! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. So, bago tayo mag-start again, plug po lang yung aking mga official social media accounts. You can follow me on Instagram at Errol04, TikTok at Mats and Logics, and my official Facebook account. You can follow me at Larry Manalang Del Rosario. Again, do not forget to subscribe on my channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified for my latest upload. Okay. We all know that we are in a crisis because of the pandemic. In preparation for the opening of classes, the Department of Education is planning to do a blended learning. And part of that blended learning is the online learning. Okay. Nasa part 2 na tayo ng lesson ng grade 8. So I guess napanood nyo na yung part 1 ng lesson natin which is about factoring, factoring greatest common monomial factor. Our objective for this lesson, after watching the video, the student will be able to factor perfect square trinomials. Okay, this is our lesson two. Okay, factoring, to be more specific, our lesson is the perfect square trinomials. Bago tayo mag-start, let's have a short recap on your special products when you were in grade 7. Okay, or yung pagmumultiply natin ng mga polynomials. Let's say, for example, we have the quantity of y plus 2 squared. It's also the same with y plus 2 times y plus 2. Diba? Alam naman natin na kapag raised to 2, multiply lang siya sa sarili niya. So, dalawang kamukha lang niya. Pagmumultiply lang din natin. In multiplying this, we do this what we call the FOIL method. I hope you are familiar with the FOIL method. Okay, I hope you are familiar with the FOIL method. We're in F stands for first terms. So, meron tayong, since it is a binomial, magagamit natin yung FOIL method. Okay, this is yung first term ng dalawang binomial at yung second term ng dalawang, or last term ng dalawang binomial. First terms is Y times y. So, y times y is equal to y squared. Kasi ina-add lang naman natin exponent. The next in FOIL method is outer terms. Multiply natin yung outer terms, yung dalawang nasa labas. Ito at ito. Yun yung ating outer terms. So, y times 2 is simply positive 2y. Nilagyan ko na ng positive so that mamaya hindi tayo mahihirapan sa paglalagay ng operations. The third steps in FOIL method is the inner terms. When we talk about inner terms, this is yung nasa middlemost terms natin, yung dalawang nasa gitna. So that's simply 2 times y, 2 times y is equal to positive 2y. And the last step is the last terms. Yung last terms natin ay 2 and then 2. 2 times 2 is equal to positive 4. And then lalatag lang natin yan. Pagsasamasamahin lang natin sila. y squared plus 2y plus 2y, plus 4. Okay, kaya lang, we can still simplify it further. Why? Because we have common terms or like terms, ano yun? 2y and 2y. Pareha sila na y lang yung variable. That means we can add them. So, y squared, 2y plus 2y is 4y plus 4. So, this is our answer. Okay. Uh, in... Special product, we call it the square of a binomial. Tama ba? Where in the square of a binomial, magiging ganito yung kanyang format, either plus or minus. Kapag a plus b quantity squared, magiging siyang a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Kapag ka naman a minus b quantity squared, is equal to a squared minus kung ano yung sign on, 2ab plus b squared. So, laging positive yung dulo. Okay? Following this rule, let us now uh, use this rule na hindi na tayo mag file method. Okay. Let A, ayun yung A natin, be Y. Inaral nyo na to when you were in grade 7. B, be equal to 2. Tama ba? Y is A. Dito, yun yung, kat yun yung katumbas niya. Yung B naman ay 2. So, nilagay natin 2. Para nga may mapalitan natin. So, sabi doon, square lang daw natin yung first term. So, yung A natin, naka-square. Square lang natin si Y, magiging Y squared. Next, 2 times A and B. So, 2 times A is Y, B is 2. So, 2 times Y times 2. Plus, square lang daw natin yung last term, which is 2. 
then b, b is equal to 2, 2 times 2 is equal to 4. So we can uh, simplify it further, so we have y squared, 2 times 2 is 4, times y is y, so we have 4y plus 4. So that is our final answer. Di mo ang kamukha lang sila. So which is which one is quicker? Siguro tinanong naman sa inyo nung when you were in grade 7 kung ano sa kayo mas nadalian. Okay? Factoring out the perfect square trinomial is the reverse of multiplying two binomials having the same terms. Okay? Ibig sabihin daw, pag nagpapapfactor tayo ng perfect square trinomial, Kabalik na daw siya na pag-multiply natin ng dalawang binomials having the same terms. Paano yun? Ayan. Let's say for example, factor x squared plus 6x plus 9. Ibabalik natin siya dun sa original form niya na square of a binomial. Okay. Una, you have to ask yourself, does this fit the form of our perfect square trinomial? Para masagot natin to, meron tayong ilang condition. Tingnan natin kung ito ba ay katumbas nito or nito para matransform natin siya dito at dito. Una, para malaman natin kung perfect square tayo, trinomial ba siya. Is the first term a perfect square? Check natin yung first term. We have x squared. Definitely, that's a perfect square. So, a is equal to x, y. Kukunin natin yung square root ng first term x, yung kanyang square root. Again, the square root of x squared is x. That will be the value of a. Next, is the last term a perfect square? So, ano ba yung last term natin? 9. What is the square root of 9? 3. So, that means our b is 3 kasi perfect square naman si 9. The last question, is the middle term twice the product of a and b? Ang a and b natin ay x and 3. Pag multiply natin yung x and 3, we have 3x. Kaya lang sabi dito, Twice. Ibig sabihin, i-multiply pa natin sa 2. Kapag kamukha niya yung middle term, which is 6x, definitely, this is a perfect square trinomial. Yes, because 2 times AB is equal to 2 times x times 3, which is equal to 2 times 3, 6 times x is 6x. Okay. Then afterwards, nalagyan na natin yung sagot. Since all three are true, Write your answer. Paano yun? We're just going to write x. Ayan, gagawin natin siyang a plus b quantity squared kasi positive naman yung given sa una niya. So, magiging, instead of a plus b, magiging x plus 3. x plus 3 quantity squared. So, I hope na gets ninyo, no? Another example. Factor y squared minus 16y plus 64. Again, you have to ask yourself, does this fit the form of our perfect square trinomial? Let's check. Okay. Check natin. Yung first term ba niya ay perfect square? Yes. And the square root of y squared is y. So, a is equal to y. Next. Is the last term a perfect square? 64? Yes. And the square root of 64 is a. So, b is equal to a. The next thing is, tignan natin kung yung ating middle term ay pasok. So, let's try. Is the middle term twice the product of a and b? Multiply natin yung a and b times 2. Yes. 2ab is equal to 2 times a and b. a is y. b is a. Okay. 2 times 8 is 16. Times y is 16y. 16y, 16y. That means this is a perfect square trinomial. But take note, minus siya and then plus. Minus and plus. So ito yung gagamitin natin format. Be careful with the sign. Uh, since all three conditions are met, you have to write your answer. So, instead na a minus b squared, ilalagay lang natin a minus 8 squared. Uh, quantity, ay, sorry, y minus 8 quantity squared. Okay. Uh, now you try. Will you please factor m squared minus 12m plus 36? You can pause the video for a while so that you can answer. Uh, you will have... Uh, enough time to answer. Okay, ito yung mga choices natin. You just have to choose your answer. Okay, let's let's check whether you you uh, you had the correct answer. Okay, so the answer is m minus six quantity squared. Why? Get perfect square naman siya, di ba? Yes. Get the square root of this m. 
get the square root of this, 6, minus sine, minus, and then put square, and minus 6 squared. Another example. Factor 4p squared plus 4p plus 1. You have to ask yourself, does this fit the form of our perfect square trinomial? The first question is, positive lahat. Okay, so pwede. Pwede ganito yung format niya. But the thing is, is the first term a perfect square? 4p squared? Yes. Because the square root of 4p squared, square root ng 4 ay 2, square root ng p squared ay p. So a is equal to 2p. Next. Last term, is the last term a perfect square? 1 is a perfect square. So yes. b is equal to 1. So 1 yung b natin. Next, yung middle term. Umultiply natin sa 2 yung product ng a and b. So we have 2ab is equal to 2 times 2p times 1. 2 times 2 is 4p. 4p times 1 is simply 4p. So that means 4p ito, 4p din yun. That means this is a perfect square phenomenon. Since we met natin lahat ng condition, all we have to do is to write our answer. So instead of writing, positive naman siya, ito yung condition niya. Instead of writing a plus b, papalitan lang natin yung a ng 2p, yung b ng 1. So we have 2p plus 1 quantity squared. Another example, 25x squared minus 110x squared plus 121y squared. Okay, let's check. Let's ask, you, ask yourself, does this fit the form of our perfect square trinomial? Yes, pwede, kasi minus plus. Meron naman siya, minus plus, and trinomial naman siya. But is this a perfect square trinomial? Let us see. Yung, yung first term ba natin ay perfect square? Yes. The square root of 25 is 5, and the square root of x squared is x. So this is a perfect square. So we have 5x. Is the last term a perfect square? 121y squared. Definitely yes, because the square root of 121 is 11, and the square root of y squared is y. Is the middle term twice the product of a and b? Yes. 11 times 5 is 55xy times 2 is 110xy. In that sense, nasusulat na natin yung ating sagot. So, kung titignan nyo dito, minus plus siya, minus plus siya, ito susundin natin rule. Instead of writing a minus b, lalagyan natin ay 5x minus 11y. 5x, kung nawala lang yung 11y, sorry, that's 5x minus 11y quantity squared. Again, that's 5x minus 11y. Okay. Uh, now you try this, feel free to pause the video for a while so that you have enough time to finish answering these problems. Maybe I can give you 30 minutes in answering these problems. Sabi nga nila, the best way to learn math is to practice math. So you have to practice solving as early as now para matutunan nyo yung mathematics. Okay, you may pause the video. Okay, let us see if your answer is correct. Here is our answer. Okay, thank you for watching the lesson 2 of our factoring in grade 8 mathematics. So, I hope you learned something on my video. Again, uh, feel free to comment your score on our comment section. And do not forget to subscribe on my channel and follow me on my official social media accounts. Thank you guys for watching.